In today's video, I'm going to be discussing the technology assessment that I did today with State Services for the Blind. Hey everyone, this is Matt. Welcome back to another Blind to Billionaire video. So today I want to give you a review and synopsis of the meeting that I had today with the State Services for the Blind Technology Assessment. So it was a meeting with a completely blind individual with the State Services for the Blind here in Minnesota. So as you probably know from previous videos, I'm going uh, through the process of starting technology training and orientation and mobility training. But before I can actually go forward, forward with the technology training, they actually needed to conduct uh, an assessment to see like where do I stand, like to, to establish a baseline. Where does this guy stand? What does he know? Things like that. So Corey and I went in, Corey was there, she drove, you know, and she assisted me. So she actually sat in on the meeting just so there's another pair of ears hearing what was going on. And it was actually interesting. So the person that we met with, he is completely blind. Um, I feel like he was full of information. So I just wanted to give you a quick review about what we talked about and some of the recommendations that he gave as far as um, different pieces of technology and what I can possibly use or benefit from to help me work toward my ultimate goal, which is employment and moving forward with our like little demolition uh, flooring removal business thing that we've talked about in previous videos. Um, so one of the things that we talked about, he talked about a few different apps um, for the iPhone or smartphone and a few of those that he recommended, and I'm not gonna get into them very deep here, but I just wanted to rec uh, mention what he recommended. And that is um, Voice Stream Scanner, which is one of them. Um, so it's like an app that you just set your phone up on like a, you can hold it above a document and it like takes a picture and then it basically just scans it. We did a little demonstration with that. It was pretty awesome. I'll get into it more in future videos. Um, another one was Nearby Explorer. So basically, I'm sure a lot of you probably know what that is, but it's basically just like a, a GPS or um, technology that basically tells you where you are. So if you're navigating through the streets, it basically tells you exactly where you are, like what address you're in front of, what streets you're approaching, um, yeah, it's just a really cool app. It's, it's almost like Maps or Google Maps on your phone, um, but it works really well with VoiceOver. That was awesome too. The next app that he recommended was Way Around. And with that, there were like little tags that you can attach to, to different items around your house with a barcode. And then you have like a little scanner that you can scan or on your phone. And then you have those barcodes um, attached, you know, however you wanna label them in your phone. So basically you can identify different products around your house. And again, we'll get into those in more depth in future videos, but I just wanted to mention what he recommended would be really helpful. And those seem like really awesome apps. I don't have any of them yet, but don't worry. I'll definitely be downloading them and checking them out. Another recommendation he gave was possibly upgrading and getting um, a newer version of an iPhone. He said typically an iPhone 10 or better is best just simply because of the speed and the power that the processor has versus an older version of an iPhone. And he said, you know, it doesn't really matter, but he said, you'll, you'll find that the speed uh, of the processor in the, how quickly you can navigate through voiceover is just so much more efficient. So he said, you know, you might wanna look into that, but of course iPhones are incredibly expensive. Um, so it's not always feasible for everybody. One other thing that he talked about a lot, he didn't necessarily recommend it, but he was definitely sold on this and that is the Apple Watch. He had an Apple Watch and he was swearing by the Apple Watch. He said he leaves his house all the time without his phone, but he said there's never a day that he leaves his house without his Apple Watch. So, you know, he was showing some different features of the Apple Watch and he was basically just saying, as a blind person, I can do anything with this little watch on his wrist. I don't need that huge phone in my pocket all the time. So he was showing us some different things on the watch and he was just saying, you know, it's, it's awesome as a blind person just to have a little device on my wrist versus carrying around this huge phone all the time. Um, another little assessment that we did is we did a quick little project on NVDA, the screen reader on the desktop computer. And again, it wasn't much of an assessment, but we ran through a few different gestures and I did a little bit of typing just so he could see how well I navigated the program and how well I could type, things like that. And he was actually recommending that NVDA is probably a better program 
for me to start out versus JAWS. He said there's definitely positives and negatives to both NVDA and JAWS. Um, <clears throat> but he said most likely for what I'm doing, it might be easier to just use the free NVDA over JAWS. But he said we'll start there and if necessary, we will uh, transition into JAWS if that's needed. Um, but anyway, I would say it was overall a really good meeting with him. He had a ton of great information to share with us. And I'm actually really excited about the training, the technology training, because I'm actually, from what it sounds like, I'm going to be doing the training with him. Um, so yeah, I'm actually really excited about it. It sounds like it should start within probably like a month and a half, two months. He said it takes quite a while sometimes to get everything in place and start the training. Um, but I think that's a pretty good review. Now Corey's actually review, or she's recording this, so I'm gonna ask Corey, did I miss anything or anything else you can think of that I should, that I should mention in this video? Um, I don't think so. The one thing I would, there's two things I would say though, is one, is he, um, he's basically helping Matt. So for anyone who doesn't know about, and I don't even remember the acronym you just said for the voiceover program on the computer. NVDA. NVDA. Yep. So what's cool is like right now, Matt can't really use a computer without somebody's help because he can't like yep. navigate the mouse. He can't see the screen at all basically. And so with this program, he'll be able to independently use a computer, which would be so cool and it was just fun to see that happen like that start to happen mm -hmm. on um like with watching him do that with the trainer and the other thing that was cool is just like i've never seen matt interact with another totally <laughs> blind person and i was like one of those people who's like who's like have you been able to see ever and like i was asking yeah. this guy questions and i was like so embarrassed i'm like what is wrong with me when did i turn into one of those people who's like got all these questions about blind people but like watching them together, it was like watching a mirror image of Matt. And it was so cool to see them together and like how this yeah. guy is so good at everything. It's just like, wow. And like, yeah. I just can't wait for Matt to get the experience to work with him. So um, it was cool I loved to, it. Yeah, definitely. It was cool to see the possibilities and the technology that is out there for us. And like this guy said too, it, there's literally like endless possibilities of technology um, adaptive pieces that we can use as blind and visually impaired people. So it was just really cool to see all of that. Um, even the little demonstration that we did with NVDA, um, we, I mean, literally I was on there for like five minutes maybe, and it was just like, wow, the power in this program is going to make my life so much easier. And I'm sure a lot of you were like, yeah, you know, <laughs> we've known about this for years, wherever you've been. Mm -hmm. but. Uh, it's just really exciting to see the, the possibilities and everything that is out there. I'm really excited to learn all of this. And of course, we'll be doing a lot of videos and reviews and things like that along the way um, of all these different apps and maybe NVDA, but we'll definitely give you guys updates throughout the process. Yeah, the other thing he's gonna teach uh, Matt is about different like voiceover, um, voiceover gestures. gestures. Yep. Um, he's gonna send those to Matt too, which is cool. And the other thing that I really liked about him is, is that he said, that he's just gonna teach Matt what he knows, he's gonna teach him the way he does things, but that there's a lot of ways to get to the same place. And I liked that he seems like really open to the fluidity of everybody's differences. Mm -hmm. And I thought that that was just a cool thing. Like there's different ways to get from point A to point B, but he's just gonna show what works for him yeah, as a totally exactly. blind person, which I just like love. And what was really interesting too that I thought was, so he's like, you know, I told him that I use an iPhone. He's like, oh, good. You know, he's like, well, let's do a little demonstration. Pull out your iPhone. So I pulled it out. He's like, turn up the volume. So I turned up the volume. He's like, all right, let's go to Google and search a dog. So I pulled out my, you know, whatever, went to Google, search dog. And he's like, wow, you're good. And I was like, really? And he's like, yeah, you're good. And I was like, oh, I've only been using this for like 10 months. I don't even know what I'm doing really. But the point is, um, I guess I don't really have a point, but I guess, Clearly, I must do something well on the iPhone. But anyway, it's just interesting to hear the perspective from somebody else because I don't know. Well, and the thing too, and he said that too, is he said, okay, you got to Google a little differently than I would get to Google, but you still got there. Yeah. He said, maybe I can show you ways to like tighten up and streamline your process mm -hmm. in some areas, which would right. be so cool. Yeah. So I just, so if even if you think that you're like really proficient and you probably are, getting an assessment like this could help you a little bit exactly no matter how like where you are in your spectrum of of like being um speedy and convenient mm -hmm. you know exactly it was just cool so yeah anyway we wanted to give you a quick review of 
the technology assessment that we had today with State Services for the Blind. And just like I've talked about in other videos, if you do live here in the United States, I think every state has some type of state agency that has like a services for the blind. So if you're interested in looking into something like this in your state, you know, just maybe do like a Google search. Maybe you live in Kentucky type in like Kentucky State Services for the Blind or something like that. It's called something different in each state from what I've been learning. Uh, that's what it sounds like. But yeah, do some kind of search and there's these programs out there. There are these state agencies out there that are meant to help us with all of these needs. So don't feel bad. I mean, reach out to these people. That's why they're there. Any other thoughts, Corey? No, um, and, and you know what? Stuff takes a little while, so yeah, it's so definitely don't, a slow process. Like, don't feel like, oh my gosh, like if you think you want to start now, probably put your application in so that in six months or so, yeah. that it'll all get happening. Yeah. So don't don't get discouraged. Just keep exactly. with it. Yeah. So anyway, thanks for watching the video. We really appreciate it. Um, if you have any comments or questions, feel free to stick those down below, and we'll definitely answer those for you. <clears throat> Otherwise, hey. I forgot in the bonus video the other day, uh, I forgot about a shout out. So hey, today's shout out is going to go to Claire Stokes all the way over from the UK. So thanks Claire, I really appreciate you being here. She comments on every video. She's been an awesome friend and she just really, I just really enjoy connecting with her. So thanks again, Claire. I love uh, hearing from you on every video that we produce. Otherwise, like I said, if you have any comments or questions, stick those down below. Otherwise, if you are new here, I'd love it if you subscribe and we really enjoy connecting with everybody. Thanks again for watching this and we'll definitely give you more uh, updated videos in the future of more you know, assessments or how the trainings are going. So thanks again for watching this. See you again soon. You can't wait to see me now, cause lately you